Hi, my name is Emin Hannigan. I'm the CEO of Stellometry. We're a new machine learning startup that's using natural language processing to detect contract cheating. So contract cheating is a relatively new form of plagiarism where students are purchasing entire essays and submitting them as their own work. And research has shown that more than 15% of current students have participated in contract cheating, and it's only been increasing. So current detection systems uh, check for verbatim text matches against a database. And this has worked in the past when students used to copy and paste sections from sites like Wikipedia into their papers. But with this new contract cheating, students are purchasing essays and they pass through these traditional detection methods completely unflagged. So what Stellometry does is we have a patent pending machine learning solution where we learn what makes a student's writing unique. Uh, we integrate directly with the school's backend system and every time a student submits a new essay, we compare it with our classifier to all of their historical writing. And if a large stylistic deviation is found, it's an indicator that that essay was not written by the student. What we do then is we send the student's professor a comprehensive PDF authorship report with all of the analysis needed for them to go into that conversation as informed as possible. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna run for the sake of this demo, I'm gonna have Mark Twain as our sample student and as some of his past essays, I'm just gonna do chapters uh, from Huckleberry Finn. And as the new submission or the test essay, I'm gonna use just one chapter from Jane Austen, uh, Pride and Prejudice, and I'm going to submit it here, and I'm gonna come back in a second when we get our authorship report. So looking at the authorship report that we just received, it is clear that Mark Twain was not the author of his most recent submission. Uh, the similarity score is very low. Uh, even graphically on the radar graph here, we can see that none of Mark Twain's historical categories match up with this newly submitted work. So as a professor, uh, you'd be able to receive a PDF like this and then go into any authorship conversation with the quantitative analysis needed to make an informed decision.